As much as I enjoy exploring new destinations, but when I'm in the Bay Area, I like to dig deep into the local cuisines. Some of them become my favorite go-to places. Come join me as I uncover great food finds in San Lorenzo, California. Whoa, well, what's this? A new dim sum takeout place. It's always exciting to find a good, reliable dim sum place for convenient takeouts. At recent prices, while providing good quality dim sum, no wonder this place is a hit from the beginning. They literally opened two weeks ago, and they're always busy, especially on weekends. It is best to order ahead via text or WeChat. They respond pretty quickly, so you don't have to wait a long time. You don't see fish seal mice often around here. I was so excited to see them on the menu. The sticky rice with chicken and whole abalones. Wow, so extravagant. All very good. Another classic favorite. Two dim sums combined together served over rice. Classic hargao and beef stew mai. Nicely done. This is the most perfect steamed barbecue buns I've had. Taste, texture, proportion. Rice rolls. They have three kinds. Very nice. These are best eaten when steaming hot. You my hero. Love you guys already. What can I say? Two of my favorite dim sums in a box and they nailed it. Perfect. Mango pudding is the perfect ending to my awesome dim sum journey today. Let's just say this is my favorite dim sum pickup place in the East Bay for now. They close on Mondays. This hidden gem in San Lorenzo is another one of my favorite to-go places for Vietnamese food. They're well known in the local area so they're perpetually busy. And for good reasons. These are some of the most popular items, I've tried most of them and they're very good. What sets this place apart is the freshness and quality of the ingredients used in their dishes. Just a couple of my all-time favorites here. Look at the amount of tender and flavorful beef. Noodles are not oily, the crunchy salad and the pickles are also highlight here. This is a must-get item here, generous portion of the beef and fresh veggies on crunchy roll. Like I said, everything is good here so feel free to explore the menu. When eating outside, remember to stay safe and select a relatively open area, like this. On a beautiful fall day like today, I don't mind getting a little sun and eat outside. In yet another obscure corner of a strip mall on Hesperian is the old timer place for fish and chips. I heard this place has been around for decades, but recently got remodeled. New modern hip interiors is eye-catching, the mirror is a nice touch. Now let's see how good the food is. First time here in this place for me. Oh my gosh, look at the size of these things. Golden and crispy, looks good so far. Okay, watch me eat this biggest piece of fish ever. Let's try it again, you have to watch the video till the end to find out what really happened. My friend's puppy is super excited to see what I'm up to. Overall fresh and crispy fish and chips. We especially like the fried mushrooms as well. Now I've been to the Fremont location but this location in San Lorenzo is my first visit. They have set a few tables outside for outdoor dining and most are shaded. Thoughtful and cozy interiors make one feel at home. Their staff is courteous and efficient. All the crepes come with either pasta or greens. Also comes with a side of their signature pesto sauce. 
The crepes are crispy and light, but the portions are generous and hearty. In this little corner next to R&D Cafe is another Asian fusion little gem. They specialize in sizzling hot plate beef entrees but have a variety of snacks and drinks. Please note that since they cannot serve with the sizzling hot plate now, the beef is now served cooked. You used to be able to sit inside, but this is the post-COVID setup now. Take out only. The ever-popular popcorn chicken. Chicken pieces are plump and juicy. And the flavor is just right, not too salty, you can customize spiciness. I would say on these beef dishes, it's a lot better when the beef was served half raw and on the sizzling plates. No fault of their own of course, businesses are doing what they can to stay open. Some adjustments are often needed in order to retain customers in post-COVID times. This is a relatively new place that opened during the pandemic and is thriving. They have all your traditional Chinese barbecue, ducks, chicken, pork, spare ribs, all are very good. If you don't want whole chicken or duck, you can get them over steamed rice. Beef stew and tripe also available daily. They also have many choices of ready-to-eat entrees if you don't want barbecue items. These two are probably their best-selling items. Can't go wrong with any of their chicken or ducks. Their soy sauce chicken is my favorite. Not many restaurants in the Bay Area have their quality and flavor. They also have porridge and Chinese fried donuts to go with your porridge. This HK style cafe is well known in the area, a favorite among locals for snacks and takeouts. I call these my iconic fours, four favorites of mine that have authentic taste. Texture is just right and good flavors, but it's actually not spicy. They nail the flavor on these iconic drinks. Milk tea is not your typical tapioca drinks place, much stronger.